The Fedel Bridge, Central Square and Statue are all landmarks in the northern Senegalese city of Saint-Louis. They're all named after a French governor, Louis Federbe, known for leading colonial expansion in Senegal. Critics say these landmarks wrongly portray him as a friendly settler and downplay the deadly military campaigns he orchestrated as he expanded French influence in West Africa. A statue of Fidel was erected in 1891 and for some its continued presence is a disgrace. To its governor, Fidel, Senegal is grateful. This statue should not be here. Fidel shot people, he humiliated people. He burned villages down in unquantifiable numbers. It is absolute humiliation to accept that the statue remains here and to also accept this inscription saying that we're grateful to Fidel, which isn't true. Located on a strip of land in the Senegal River, Saint-Louis is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. For local authorities, the Fidel statue and bridge are emblematic of the city and part of its history. Senghor said colonization is a necessary evil, so this heritage is also a necessary evil. There's some good, there's some bad. Today, if Saint Louis is known throughout the world, it's thanks to its colonial heritage. Today, Saint Louis being visited by at least 10% of tourists staying in Senegal is thanks to its heritage. Residents in Saint Louis are divided on whether the statue should be removed. The Fédéral statue has its place here, it doesn't cause any harm and even helps attract people to come here to see Saint-Louis. I think Fédéral should fall because it reminds us of colonization. When we say the Fédéral bridge, the Fédéral statue, when we talk about governance, for me it symbolizes Saint-Louis, not France. In South Africa, the statue of another controversial colonial figure, Cecil Rhodes, drew strong criticism before finally being removed in 2015.